Elon Musk is fast getting the name of Thomas Alva Edison of the 21st century. Why do I say that? Boring company, not the dull wala boring, but the bore well wala boring. So he has started this company called Boring Company. This was started as a subsidiary of SpaceX in 2017. And they have accomplished something that perhaps few have accomplished. Move people around in transportation and make a profit out of it. Welcome to the tunnel of tomorrow. This is in the town of Las Vegas. And I'm going to walk you through a slide deck where I show what Elon Musk has accomplished here. And in the first year, they have declared a profit of tens of millions of dollars. Hard to believe, isn't it? When we know that several metros in India are running at a loss. What happened here? Let me just walk you through this. Here we go. The tunnel of tomorrow built by Elon Musk and his company, The Boring Company, DBC. It's actually public right now. And I don't know if anybody would be interested in buying. I'm just telling you that it is actually traded. So what is this thing? You know, except for the Hyperloop experiment that didn't quite pan out for Elon, everything else that he has touched has actually turned into gold. In this particular venture, what he has done is he proposed digging tunnels to get around the traffic in Las Vegas as well as in Los Angeles. You have to be really caught in some of these traffic jams to experience how painful it is. Las Vegas, for example, there is this one street called the Strip. And this is so crowded, even one kilometer or one mile can take you up to an hour because there are so many lights and so many things going on, so many people crossing back and forth and so on and so forth. So what did Elon Musk do? He came up with an amazing solution. I'm going to walk you through this. This is a Vegas loop. It is 1.7 mile tunnel under the Las Vegas Convention Center. The Las Vegas Convention Center itself is a huge complex. It's got a west wing, a south wing, a north wing, and I don't know if it has already got an east wing or not, but it has got other things that are moved out. It's a pretty big one. If you are going for any convention where you have to walk the floors, you can really get tired easily. So this is the first of his several ventures for the town of Las Vegas, and I'm just going to walk you through. In fact, I'm going to give you a slide, uh, a demonstration of what this looks like, how this thing actually moves around. Built by the Boring Company, the construction began in November 2019. This is Elon Musk's Vegas Loop. The contract was awarded to the Boring Company in May 2019 for $48.7 million. The tunnel drilling for future stations continues into the 2020. So it is still work in progress, but some things are already functional. That's where they made the money. Initially, they started using Tesla Model 3, but now they have replaced it by Tesla Model Y. You know, the difference between uh, 3 and Y, if I remember correctly, is that the Y opens up like this, vertical, like uh, there was one other car before that used to do that. The, the, the doors don't open sideways, but they open upwards, if I remember correctly. A novel transportation approach designed to reduce congestion in busy convention areas. This is not a city transport, but this is a convention center transport. It could be something that could be used, for example, for uh, New Delhi to go between Parliament uh, House, various complexes around it, uh, to go even to Rashtrapati Bhavan and things of that nature, where there's a lot of people involved. It could even be the Connaught Circus area. Just giving an example, right? So, uh, or in uh, Mumbai, the Church Gate area, a lot of things happening there, big, big mess. So, this is the actual distance between Las Vegas Convention Center South Station to the Las Vegas Center West Station. In between, there are uh, there's one more station called the Central Station, and this is just the beginning. This shuttle system is servicing the Las Vegas Convention Center connecting five stations. I just showed you three there. There's a later picture that will give you more, a more updated one. The twin tunnel design spans 2.2 miles. We mean that each one, there's one direction, one train, uh, one car, the other one is in the other direction. The first tunnel completed in February 2020, spanning 4,475 feet, close to 1,364 meters or 1.364 kilometers. The second one finished in May 2020. The construction speed is approximately 15 meters per day. Now I'm going to show you an actual test ride before we jump into this and look at the efficiency and other things involved. 
Here we go. That was a test drive and a watchful observer would have noticed that there was no driver. Well, um, Tesla has al already perfected the autopilot function and it can go into tunnels easily and, you know, find its way around just to give you uh, a turn of phrase. But important thing here is the tunnel size, how much they saved by making the tunnel smaller. And, and I'm going to give you some more data about all that stuff. But this is clearly a test run. This is not the real thing. The real thing we want to see take a look at some of the links that we have provided go through that to get an idea of how cleverly this is designed okay so let's continue with the uh, presentation what is the loops performance people don't believe that something like this can actually turn a profit in its first year the annual revenue is 75 million dollars the daily ridership is 28000 people efficiency is it's a two minute average wait time you know you just have to wait for two minutes before your turn comes the fleet size is 150 tesla vehicles and this loop operates without any groundbreaking technology no autonomous vehicles although the the demo you saw was autonomous advanced routing algorithms or hyperloop innovations just human drivers in slanted teslas right now they have human drivers they are not doing it automatically some of the key simplifications are one-way tunnels, no lane changes. Of course, you saw that. No traffic signals or pedestrians. It's just a crash-proof design. What is the capacity? 4,400 passengers per hour in two-minute intervals. July 2021 peak was 1,355 passengers per hour. Cost effectiveness, the boring tunnels are 12 feet diameter instead of 28 feet, which is the traditional the tunnel diameter that gives you 81 percent less dirt to be removed 81 percent less concrete required and 81 percent faster construction somebody said it was some a number which is uh, in erroneous there is proof if you go and look through some of the links in some detail somebody has actually proved that your savings are quite significant if you are going with 12 foot tunnels here is the 12 foot dia tunnel and it's transporting 28,800 passengers every day. And like I said, the average wait time is just two minutes. It's, it has got a perfect safety record, 90% satisfaction rate, an average rating of 4.9 over 5. So far, they have only had five stations. They are planning 68 stations and 87 total miles of tunnel. It will connect the entire Vegas Strip. Airport to downtown will be just five minutes. You know, it takes five minutes to just walk out of the airport or even more. So it gives you a sense of how efficient this can be. So I urge you to take a look at the, uh, the links that are provided. And many of the links have videos in, on their own. And you can take a look at those to get an idea for how well this is designed. This is the Las Vegas downtown. As a matter of fact, what I am showing in my backdrop this is the Las Vegas Strip. That is what we are talking about. This is about two, three miles long, and uh, it just is the heart of Las Vegas. Now, how do you define this? This is a point-to-point -point transit. It's neither a subway nor a bus, but a new point-to-point -point transit system. There are no fixed schedules. You go stand up there, vehicle is guaranteed to arrive within two minutes. Direct uninterrupted rides. Now. This is the current situation and you see one, two, three, four, five stations and with, with more coming online, 
it can be an amazing solution for the town of Las Vegas. I can't say that this will solve big city problems, but in a big city, there are a cluster of office complexes. Or let me put it this way, based on this, you could have a cluster of complexes designed over ground. You see what I'm saying? So that you have like a, you know, a secretariat of a newly formed state or something like that. Those things can be easily done with this. Especially what you want is, you know, to be able to get quickly from a railway station, from a bus stand or from an airport. If we can accomplish that, that would be a huge feat indeed. To take a look at what is happening in Bangalore today. The Bangalore airport is, or I should say Bengaluru. Bengaluru airport is about 28 kilometers from the Hebal flyover, which is sort of thought of as the city divide, city end. And it that alone takes 45 minutes sometimes, even longer. And, and uh, then from there, you have to go inside the city. The people have had situations where they had to turn back because they knew they couldn't make it in time for the flight. This is the situation in Bengaluru. If there's anything that can be done there, that's a welcome thing. So this solution has, you know, has a very solid foundation. It addresses real needs and generates profit through tunnel vision in action. So tunnel vision is usually, uh, you know, referred to as something people don't have proper vision. They only can see like this. But here he has made a big vision out of a tunnel vision. That's Elon Musk for you. I hope some Indian cities do take cognizance of this. And, and I'm sure there are a lot of other cities around the world who might start using this. You know, it's, it's an amazing plan. You might ask, why didn't it occur to us? Well, I think it occurred to Elon Musk because his Hyperloop experiment failed. Even SpaceX failed several times before. Now it's very impressive. It is able to even land back from the launcher. It is just, you know, the guy knows how to make things, how to make products. That's all I want to say. I hope you liked it. And I hope that India makes use of his genius in trying to implement some of these ideas. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.